Well, I, mean, I guess some people are getting offended by the art because there's blood and stuff. Some people don't like that, whatever. Um, but as much as I like the design of the shirt and it's a funny shirt and it just looks cool, I mean, you got his name, you got his face. It's so... You can't you can't make profit off of somebody else's you know like this. I mean, it's just it's not necessarily oh we're gonna be offended by art. It's more it's illegal. What's going on, guys? I'm Bomber from Jabba Radio, and it looks like we have another day, another news story with this guy right here, Jim Cornette, and you know he's doing that same exact face right now. Okay, so for those of you that are, you know, out of the loop on, you know, trying to avoid Jim Cornette and those of you that, uh, you know, want to know what's going on and you're out of the loop. Well, apparently a independent wrestler by the name of G Raver, who I am familiar with, he, uh, I don't know, made a name for himself in CZW. He's a deathmatch wrestler. Uh, he works in other various independent uh, companies and whatnot. Um, he... Basically, the the bottom line is I, I don't I don't know if he was the one that created the shirt or if he paid this person to make this shirt, but here's what we got. Um, this shirt is being sold over on what is this website? The IndieConnection.com. Fuck Jim Cornette T. Um, you can get all the way up to five XL. Wow, that's in, insane. Um, personally. I love the design. The design is great. The artist, I, I believe we will talk, well, we will not talk to him. We will show, I'll show what, uh, what he said in a minute. But, um, these are like, if you are a deathmatch wrestling fan, you know what these are. These are like the little skewers that they like kind of put in people's head. Uh, and you got the blood all over the place. You got him with a, his mouth taped up with X's across his eyes. And it just says, fuck Jim Cornette down at the bottom. Um, I like the art. The art is good. It, it's not bad. And it's a funny, you know, parody type shirt. But oh, let's be honest. I, I don't I don't think this is legal. So G Raver, I actually saw this tweet a little while back. Um, well, it was September 5th. So just a couple days ago. And I actually replied to it. Um, so the tweet was word on the Internet is corny is still being, uh, you know, the P word podcast warrior and running mouth. Don't give two blanks about him as a kid. He's done nothing in the wrestling world to me. Jim Cornette, you influence insecure males. Um, I, I, uh, I, I replied. Uh, I just, I respect you. I also disagree with you. I hope you understand. Now, I, I'm, I'm a G Raver fan, as you know. I, I, lo I love CZW. I've followed, you know, I've, I've followed a good amount of his career and stuff. Um, I 100% do respect. I respect deathmatch death match wrestlers. I also respect Jim Cornette, which is weird because Jim Cornette is strongly against hardcore wrestling. And he, I, I don't agree with his a lot of his wrestling views. I don't agree with a lot of his you know political views and just a lot of shit that he just says in general. But I still find him highly entertaining. And I still like Jim, Corn, he, Jim Cornette, even though he strongly hates stuff that I like. I, I feel like so many people are so polarizing nowadays where they can't, if somebody disagrees with something, they can't like that person. They have to hate that person. They have to, you know, they're absolutely against that person. And I, I mean... I won't understand it, but that's just the way a lot of people are. So, um, I completely disagree with G Raver here as much as I do like him. Um, he influences insecure males. That's just, I, I it's just trash talk. It's just, you know, a, a ignorant comment. I, I really do like G Raver too. That That's what, uh, really, really got me. Uh, everybody hates Jim Cornette though. Everybody hates Jim Cornette and, and any independent wrestler almost out there. Hates Jim Cornette. It's crazy. So anyway, that happened. And then that's when the very next, is it the next day or just a couple days later is when the uh, the fuck Jim Cornette shirt came out. So the timing is good there. So right after that, G Raver uh, the next day says, if I get a cease and assist, I'll make that shirt too, which makes sense because, you know, Jim Cornette has on his shop right now the, uh, the restraining order that you can buy that Vince Russo gave him, which is hilarious. But this is where things finally happened. Um, this happened today. No, yesterday. Yester no, I think this was today. Yeah, this was a couple hours ago that Jim Cornette tweeted this out. Okay, so first of all, Nuclear Heat Graphics. I guess that is the company that made the shirt, that designed the shirt, but I don't know... I guess G-Raver maybe came to them. I don't know the details on that. But anyway, they says, honestly, shocked by how many people are offended by Jim Cornette's art for G uh, sick G-Raver. 
Um, what is wrong with you people? First, you attack comedy, wrestling. Now art is offensive. Is anyone allowed creativity anymore? I'll draw whatever I want. Hashtag Jim Cornette. Hashtag G Raver. Hashtag, uh, hashtag GCW. Now, um, I, I don't think any... Well, I, I guess some people are getting offended by the art because there's blood and stuff. Some people don't like that. Whatever. Um, but as much as I like the design of the shirt and it's a funny shirt and it just looks cool... I mean, you got his name, you got his face. It's so you can't you can't make profit off of somebody else's you know like this. I mean, it's just it's not necessarily oh we're gonna be offended by art. It's more it's illegal. So Jim Cornette replied and says, actually, I think you did a great job. My attorney Stephen P. New is an even bigger fan, so much so that you'll be hearing from him shortly. Thanks for playing. Of course, Joey Janela got in here. What a uh. What a, uh, what a blank old man you are. Um, yeah, so, and then everybody's basically in here, like, you know, crapping on Jim Cornette. So, uh, bottom line, I went through here and I, I found some stuff from Stephen P. New that looks like this isn't just, you know, Jim Cornette, you know, being, a, being like, uh, I wasn't gonna say being a troll, but just, uh, you know, not playing along. So, Stephen P. New uh, replied, somebody said, come on, Jim, you're on the wrong side on this one. It's a counterculture parody shirt, not an actual death threat. You of all people should be able to appreciate this. And then Stephen P. New replied, I like how his picture is. Who is that? Is that Triple H on the Game of Thrones? Or is this him? That may be, that may be Stephen P. New on the Game of Thrones. I, I don't know what he actually looks like. Though. That may be him. Um, anyway, he, uh, Stephen P. New replied, which is Jim Cornette's lawyer, as most of you know that do know him. Uh, no one said it was an actual death threat. That shirt violates the shopping site's terms of services as well as improperly appropriating my client's likeness without his consent. He said his last about it. I've got it from here. No matter what side you're on, you know that that's true. Okay. Sell me one of those blank shirts. I'm wearing it to the next Cornette signing. And then G Raver gives them the link. So here's the thing. Um, I, I don't I don't know how this is gonna work because Steven Pinu comes in and says, already done. And by the way, Shopify will be shutting down your platform for violations of their acceptable use policy. Thanks for playing. I was hoping Jim Cornette would see it and he would uh, allow it. But I was also hoping he would do something about like getting the profits from the shirt. I mean, literally, it is his likeness and that kind of stuff. So he does he does have the legal right to do whatever he wants, I assume. And right here on the site says, please note, this is a pre-sale. Please allow four to six weeks for shipping on domestic orders. Okay, so th this is a pre-sale for this shirt. I don't know what that means for the people that actually bought the shirt. If they are going to try to take it down, I assume there'll be refunds or something like that. By the way, if you didn't know who G-Raver was, this is G-Raver right here. He's got, oh, he's got the heart up. That's nice. Um, I believe he was trying to gather funds up for his uh, injury, but... Um, either way, I think it's a, a fantastic idea for a shirt. It looks great. It looks funny. It look it's very, you know, deathmatch wrestling vibe. And a lot of those guys, a lot of those deathmatch wrestling fans hate Jim Cornette because he always craps on hardcore wrestling and deathmatch wrestling and all that kind of stuff. So it goes perfect. It goes hand in hand, but you can't use the likeness and profit from it. So you shouldn't be surprised if Jim Cornette's going to go in there and take all this stuff down and make sure nobody profits from it. Yes, I know a lot of people are going to be butt hurt and stuff, but guys, the law is the law. You get, you can't, you can't do that. As cool as it is, you can't. You just can't. That's the bottom line. I love the description too. No words are, <laughs> no words are needed here. That's uh, it's pretty good for the description. I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like the shirt? Do you think it's over the top? Do you think it's too extreme? Do you think do you think Jim Cornette should try to sue uh, G Raver in the T-shirt company? I I don't think it should go that far. I think you know. Yes, they obviously don't like Jim, uh, G. Raver doesn't like Jim Cornette. They're, that's a lot of people don't. But I hope Jim Cornette doesn't try to like do anything besides shut the shirt down. Because come on, I mean, it, it, there's no harm. And once you shut it down and there's no profit from it, I feel like that should be the end of it. But who knows? I, this just started. No telling where this is going to go. Hopefully it doesn't go farther than people getting their shirt taken down off the store. But like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you buy this shirt if it was going to be an action, if it wasn't going to be blocked? Because um, as much as I love Jim Cornette and like and enjoy what he does, 
that's a cool shirt, and I would totally get that shirt too. Uh, but all right, I'm out of here, guys. We'll see you on the next video.